On a cold fall afternoon, the 10 and 3 Newberry Wolves found themselves in the dog pit in Bowie, Maryland against the 12 and 1 Bowie State Bulldogs. The game was a dogfight. Each were held scoreless in the first half in a physical defensive battle. Late in the third quarter, Bulldogs quarterback Jerome Johnson was injured on the quarterback keeper. Backup QB Larry Williams came in and coughed up the rock. And Newberry had the ball inside the 20. A few plays later, they took a 7-0 lead on a two-yard run by Mario Anderson. Jerome Johnson came back into the game and hit a strike to Hinkley down the sideline and he dodged two defenders to make the score 7-7. With two minutes and 45 seconds left in the third quarter, the Bulldogs drove down the field and got inside the red zone. They kicked the field goal, but a penalty negated it. They tried it one more time, but it was no good, leaving the score at 7-7. Seven to seven. The Newberry Wolves took a 10-7 lead on a 48-yard field goal by Cotton with 2 minutes and 50 seconds left to play. But Mr. Doodall, Jerome Johnson, hits Hall streaking down the sideline. Two plays later, Johnson hit Hinkley with a 10-yard strike in the right flat for the game win. Newberry had one more shot. But QB Dre Harris fumbled with the Bowie State Bulldogs recovering with a minute and eight seconds left in the fourth quarter. The Bulldogs were able to run out the clock to make his first appearance in school history into the quarterfinal. The Bulldogs will travel to Baldasta State to see if they can continue their historic run. Y'all, game day. When the band is what you hear and everybody here is cheering, all your worries disappearing, y'all, it's game day. Whether televised or streaming live in person while you're screaming, no more waiting, no more dreaming, y'all, it's game day. When the